contingencies. What are they and how do we think about them? There are three primary conditions or contingencies that we think of in real estate when writing an offer. We have finance contingency, inspection contingency, and appraisal contingency. The finance contingency essentially states that if you don't get a loan from the bank or you can't secure financing, then you can back out of the deal. The inspection contingency gives you a certain number of days that you specify to have an inspector come out and look at the home. If anything comes back on that report that is unsavory or looks suspect to you, you can also back out of the deal and get your full deposit back. Finally, we have the appraisal contingency. Anytime you're financing a loan to purchase a home, the lender will send an appraiser out to the home to assess the value and they use comparable homes and different metrics to determine the value of your home and then they compare it to the purchase price. If there's any difference between the appraised value and the purchase price, you will have to make up that difference in cash as the bank won't be able to loan you that amount. So if the appraisal comes in lower, that contingency insulates you so that you can back out of the deal if that comes to pass. There's so many nuances to this and way more detail to go into about each of the three, but this should give you a high level overview of which contingencies you might want to keep or waive in the offer process. And of course, remember that contingencies are here to protect you, but waiving contingencies will make your offer more attractive to the seller. If you have any questions, leave them below.